Hi everybody, to start class today, what we're gonna do is do some drawings for words that we have learned about in this unit. So if you could take out a piece of paper, what we're gonna do is spend a minute trying to draw out what we think each of these words would look like. Um, if you're confused, just leave it blank or you could just write the word and we'll do it together as class after. All right, so you're gonna need a piece of paper out or if you're doing this on your um, on your device, you want to have like notability out so you can do some drawings. All right, for our first picture, we're going to do a picture of mitosis. Okay, so I'm going to give you a minute for how would you draw and represent mitosis. You can even think how would you define mitosis. For our second picture, we're going to draw a picture, or you can write down definition if you can't think of what to draw, for gene regulation. So draw a picture for that, and I'll give you a minute. All right, so now that we draw a picture for gene regulation or what we think it meant, let's now draw a picture for a daughter cell. For three, daughter cell. How would you define or draw a picture for a daughter cell? So now we're going to move on to a fourth picture that we're going to do for DNA replication. So number four, DNA replication. So how would you define or draw what DNA replication looks like? We're now going to do another picture, number five for 
stem cell. So what picture or definition would you give for a stem cell? And let's take a minute to think that over. Okay, so now that we drew and wrote down what we thought about a stem cell, let's move on to a specialized cell. And draw our picture for that. Or definition. Okay, so now let's move on to our seventh word, which is going to be cellular differentiation. And how would we draw that? All right, for our eighth word, we're going to write down the cell cycle. Sometimes we think of like a Pac-Man head for this. But how can we draw or define or represent the cell cycle? Okay, and next up we have apoptosis. How would we draw or represent apoptosis?
picture to draw. I'd like you to draw a representation for cancer. All right, so now you have had the opportunity to draw or just think of some of these vocab words and, and don't be um, embarrassed or think that it's bad that you couldn't come up with a visual representation for these words. It's very challenging for these 10 words. So I'm gonna show you 10 different pictures with those definitions that you could have drawn. Um, and then from there, we're going to revisit the task cards that we started our unit with and with the information from our new pictures or our group pictures from this representation I'm gonna show you and what we've learned from our test cards, we're gonna do a final assessment that's gonna be worth 24 points. So let's first take a look at 10 different pictures which I have supplied for you on the Google Classroom, but I wanna show you those quickly um, so you could see a definition and a picture for each of these. All right, so for mitosis, it means a parent cell dividing into and creating two identical daughter cells with the nuclei formed in those daughter cells. So if you drew one cell and then you drew two cells that are genetically identical to that first cell, that would be a good, def good drawing for mitosis. Gene regulation is the activation of a segment of DNA that codes for a specific protein. So for the heart cell here, that part of the DNA is activated and then it's creating and expressing that gene and creating proteins for that, that structure. So if you had a segment of DNA like focused in on, because that is how certain proteins are made because they are activated. Daughter cell is the identical cells that result at the end of the mitotic cell cycle. So we should have two daughter cells that are identical to the original parent cell. So in this picture, they're showing you the double-stranded chromosomes. So they have replicated and then they're splitting that DNA into the two daughter cells. For DNA replication, uh, DNA is replicated before cell division so that the new cells will each have a copy of the DNA. And this takes place during the S phase in interphase. For stem cell, a stem cell is an unspecialized cell that's capable of turning into any type of specialized cell. So it's it doesn't have any genes activated. Um, so it's got endless potential to become any type of cell. So I have a picture here of a stem cell and how it could lead into all formation of all of the different types of cells. A specialized cell is any cell with a specific form and function. For example, muscle cells, neurons, etc. Cellular differentiation is the process of a stem cell becoming a specialized cell. So what we see here is how the stem cells become specifically a cardiac cell or specifically an intestinal cell. So it differentiates to become something specialized to do a certain particular job. So notice that picture looked like the stem cell picture um, because what those arrows are really pointing away from the stem cell is it, them differentiating from each other. Cell cycle is the life of a cell, so it includes the growth, the DNA replication, the more growth, 
and then the actual splitting apart of the nucleus in the formation of two nuclei and the two cells that are the result of the cell growing and, and replicating the DNA, growing more, and then dividing so we can have more copies of the same type of cell. Apoptosis is the death of cells. So if you drew a cell just breaking apart, and this is normal and it's a controlled part of an organism's life. So cells have a certain shelf life before they are destroyed and it depends on the type of cell. So we mentioned how the heart cells will replace themselves every 20 years, bone cells roughly every 10 years, and um, your digestive cells are a lot quicker, like three to five days. So apoptosis is part of the life of a cell and it eventually will be destroyed. And then cancer occurs when normal cells begin to replicate without control and they take nutrients from other cells. So this is showing you an example of a cancer, which is leukemia. So we have these abnormal um, white blood cells. So notice that they don't even look white in the picture. They just look like they're blue. Um, but these are abnormal white blood cells that have replicated too many of them. And then I find this picture a little weird to see, like when we have normal skin tissue and then we have that extra, not taking cues from the environment, this extra growth of cells creating a tumor. All right, so those were the 10 pictures that I wanted you to draw. And we're now ready to kind of go over those task cards that we worked on before at the beginning of the unit to see if we've grown at all in this unit and then we'll work on our project.